Hello, welcome back to Drinks with Ron, finishing off today's trifecta. I'm Ron, sorely lacking a drink. The problem is I nursed the last one, I kept shooting my mouth off, and uh, I let the other one sit here and get warm. So, let's, uh, let's not fork around. Let's find out how cold she still is. Now, uh, my fridge was temping them about 29 before I came down here. Um, I put that other County K back in and it sat out a while, it was at 39. This guy was, oh shit, it's already up to 47, just taking her out of the fridge that quick. Well, I shan't fuck around anymore. Uh, not too sure about the placement of my bottle opener. Oh, balls, look at that. Before I learned my lesson about uh, over-sugaring in the carbonation phase. It's a brutal lesson to learn. We're not shattering any bottles, but we got some foamy shit coming out here. So the County K, two episodes ago, that came out perfect. This is a uh, Blackberry Pilsner. Let's tempt this mother. Uh, it's saying 48. I mean, uh... Fuck, well, it looks like I got a little bit before I get to drink this one. Um, so let me tell you, uh, the buying season has just passed, but you'll be watching this in the future, so who knows? Maybe it's, like, right around the corner. Either way, all year round, there's reasons people buy shit for people, and one of them, uh, one thing, ladies, if you're looking for shit for a guy, we're not easy to buy for, um, Things are too personalized, too specific to get them right. Um, a lot of things we just don't need. This little guy right here, you get uh, get online like 12 bucks. It's got a little got a little laser pointer, and uh, you can turn that on or off. Oh, 55, man! I took this to my brother's birthday party, and you should have seen every guy in the room. They all uh, became like eight-year-old boys. Ooh, what's that? I want one! Hey, honey, give me one of those! And, and seriously, uh, I tempt everything when I got this thing. I was around the house, tempting the seam of every room, finding out which ones were colder, sealing the floor difference. Uh, I uh, re-insulated the attic with a bunch of that spray shit, so I wanted to check, see if that did a good job. Uh, my kid played with it for like a week and a half straight. What, once I finally set it down, long enough that she could get it without, you know, a, a scornful look of disapproval. Wait, when you do my new toy, be careful with that. I might have to tempt something later. So she's running around the house tempting the fucking cat. I mean, anything. Uh, but, yeah, you should see these guys at my brother's birthday party. They're the same way. They look just like my kid. Just anything. Tempt that. What's that one? Check your beer, check her drink. She's got more ice, what's hers look like? Your hand was on that glass, did that warm it up? Temp where your hand was. You got a can cooler, let's check your can with their can. You're like, seriously, right? 12 bucks. You can keep a guy busy for a long time. Uh, yeah, so this is a Blackberry Pilsner. I believe it's listed on Untapped as Back Deck Pills. Um, take a look for it, if you use Untapped. We're under third generation brewery. Uh, third generation brewing. Ing. Uh, yeah, so back deck pills. It's just your standard pilsner. I added uh, about a pound of blackberries in with it. If you know anything about how the fermentation works, you lose all the sweetness, uh, but you keep the, the blackberry bitter, which I didn't think through real well. Um, yeah, I was really mad when I made this. So <laughs> I think it first got listed on Untapped under a rusty trombone because I, I was so pissed, it said it tastes like rusty tap water. And I was really mad, because pilsners are fucking laborious. Uh, I'll give you a quick rundown. You have to put it in first you, a couple of weeks, you get into your first ferment stage, you let it rise, you let it kind of back off, you do your transfer. Then when you do your transfer into your secondary, uh, into the carboy, now you're supposed to start stepping the temperature down from the uh, low 50s where you started. I've been told by people that uh, dwarf my brewing experience tenfold. 
and they told me the closer you can step that down to freezing, the clearer, cleaner, better it's going to be. So I thought, hey, I'm in Wisconsin. I got a garage, and uh, it's January. Like this, And it's got to sit for like six weeks, so you have to keep it at this lower temperature for like a month and a half. Like I said, free refrigerator out there. I, I just was worried that I was going to step it down too cold too fast. That's why a lot of people use a refrigerator. You can adjust that dial. But again, if you're doing that, this guy right here. Just give it a quick zap of the little beep of approval. Makes you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. And uh, it's a good time. But anyway, yeah. Like a fucking six weeks in the secondary or something. So it's like eight to ten week process to brew this beer. And then if you still bottle like a caveman like I do, you need a couple more weeks to carbonate. So, uh, yeah. I mean, it was like almost a three month process when all was said and done. And when it came out and it tasted like rusty tap water, I was so pissed off. I, like I said, we labeled it as rusty trombone and gave it bad ratings. But I let it sit another week, tried a couple other Pilsners and realized, hey, a good Pilsner is supposed to taste like rusty tap water. Who knew? That's what they're fucking looking for. So apparently I nailed it. It was spot on. Um, I was worried, his last uh, winter, I mean, it might be cold as balls right now, and you may not remember if you're in my geographical location, but last February, it got fucking warm. It was like in the 50s or 60s or some shit. So I was worried about all these temperature variations giving me off flavors, as the brewing crowd puts it. But, uh, nope, the rusty tap water. But it's been sitting about nine, ten months, and it's mellowed out. So, uh, I'm pretty proud of it. If you get on untap, take a look, see what the ratings are. That's a quality beer. And when you're done, tempt that bitch. This one's up to 50, so I better stop yapping and start drinking. So for Drinks with Ron, I'm Ron, signing off. <laughs>